Yo, what up, Big Muscle Gains Nation? Uh, we are at Solely Vegan. Uh, Wait, are yeah. we at? Yeah, are we at Solely Vegan? Uh, or, this is like the pickup station. All right. So we're supposed to be at Solely Vegan. We're supposed to be. And uh, yeah. Oh, hey, uh, what a black soulful place at? Uh, Solely Vegan? Yeah. It said 333. Yeah, it's in here. So what you do, everything is online. Oh, that's it? Yeah, everything is So what I'm guessing is the, uh, basically, the solely vegan place is in like this big ass kitchen house. They got a lot of different restaurants, you know what I'm saying, uh, back there. So they got like almost, you know, a lot of different Uber Eats type of stuff. They got Veggie Street, uh, what else? A couple other meat, non-meat uh, type of places, you get what I'm saying? So walk in, this is basically what you see right here. And oh uh, yeah, now it's just time to wait on the food to get done. We thought it was gonna be like a restaurant. It turns out it's not. Uh, yeah, it's a little. Uh, the water is out here. It's a little hot in here, things like that. So uh, let's go and take a look on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Basically, oh uh, yeah, that's it. Just a big ass white building. That says <laughs> food, delivery, on the food delivery pickup. And uh, lucky three delivery, that's all it really says. Jam packed in the hood though. In the hood. Okay, right behind stratosphere, you know what that mean, death. <laughs> Look, I don't got my ND filter on, but it's coming in the mail soon, man. It's coming soon in the mail. I don't know when the hell it's gonna come because it's coming from China, but H and Y better have their shit together, okay? Because I need my shit looking crisp. Let me see. Somebody pushing a wheelchair across the street. Now, that ain't a, a naked city state. Well, I tell you, it's always smelling like piss on these concrete. Smell like LA down here. Okay. If you guys are from LA and you want to smell some pissy concrete, come off industrial out of stratosphere. The big ass thing right there. You want to go by the car? So, you know. Really ain't trying to walk up and down. I don't got that thing on me today. You get what I'm saying? But I got these hands though. And my little senior That's stabby all you stabby. Need. That's all you need. My little senior stabby stabby. You get what I'm saying? You know, I'm cold. I'm cold with the senior stabby stabby. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I call it. That's a cool. That's cool that they made a building. What are you looking at, bitch? That's cool they made a building for Uber and Garbhub and all those places to come pick Downtown. up. Downtown. Yeah, like they got six restaurants in one place. That's kind of cool. Probably everybody on the strip. So they don't gotta, yeah, cause it's like, you got parking, all the damn casinos, ain't nobody finna do all that bullshit. So this is, what if this was, this, this, yeah, this is, this is a good idea. This is like the hub of food deliveries downtown. The hub of food deliveries downtown, man. Just like that, it's overcast as hell. It is about 109 degrees right now. Feeling real, it's feeling hot, but more humid than hot right now. You know, we got some clouds in the clouds in the sky. Oh, like this, anything you want. Tell me about your experience in, in, in trying to order and what was your first take on, you know, what was your, you get what I'm saying? First impressions is the word I was looking for. Huh. Yeah, it's frustrating. Cause first of all, they didn't say, oh, you can only order online. Or if they did, I didn't pay attention to that. But she should have just built a restaurant. I feel like she did this so that she could test the waters. But honestly, like, I think she'll get some good business if she just opens up a restaurant. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Not here or anywhere around here. But open a restaurant, because this is some bullshit. And I guess that was it. Didn't get any signals. <laughs> Shit. Sun is coming out. I'm gonna go uh, by the car, okay? So yeah, you know, truck looking good though. Got that graphite coating on that thing. Oh yeah, it is no air condition in the, uh, in the entrance. So they said, look, you ain't staying. You gonna order and go back to your car. Ah. Yeah, all right. Anyways, man, uh, yeah. 
Well, they can sit there. They're gonna get they hit. Play. All right. So, anyways, yeah, man. Probably also looking for the place. Yeah, just like everybody else in the world. Is uh, where's this place actually? So, I was right. Now I was a touch. I was a look. It says three thirty. It'll be ready. It's gonna be a gang of mess, huh? Goddamn. It's gonna be some Mexicans in there cooking the soul food. I was right. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas, man. The Mexicans and Asians cook all your damn food. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, we're gonna go ahead and uh so basically here yeah, got I got all you know, got dressed. Sherry got dressed looking sexy, my side. You know, I'm over here looking Let's handsome try. as I wanna be, damn right. Come to find out. Yeah, just a fucking to-go place. And they still looking for the same damn place. It's funny that the tent makes it seem like I have an indie culture on it. But anyways, yeah, man. Just looking for the same place like we was. What else? That's it. So uh, when you see us, we probably will be back at the house. Yep. Thought we was going to make a day out of it. Order too much food to be sitting in a uh, car when it's about 113 degrees outside. So it's not going to happen. This lady says she went there last night. What, the last night? Okay, okay. Black Eyed Peas is looking pretty, uh, pretty sad. All right, so we got everything out, laid out, and things like that. Go and check a look at it. That's the uh, hot dog, fries, fat ass chicken and waffles, the beignets, the fried okra, the uh, alligator bites, right here, jalapeno pops, my jambalaya, my budget gumbo, which got more rice than uh, gumbo. We're gonna go ahead and get it in. The uh the gumbo, right? The gumbo is basically means just all rice. Like there is no umph, there is no soupiness to the gumbo. Go ahead and take a look at it. Got the fork, let's go ahead and taste it. The rice. They cook gumbo with basmati rice. Hold on, let me put this shit down. Have never this ain't the rice for gumbo. Rice is barely, rice is kind of firm in a bad way. The rice was firm and then we still had it covered for at least 25 minutes. It took them, what, an hour and five minutes to actually make all our damn food, which is horrible customer service. Went into the 333 place, 333, uh, what was it, what was that, Drew? St. Louis. Went up in the spot where they got all the stuff. Went up in there, I guess the front desk girl was on break. She wrote on a damn piece of paper with a Sharpie said, be back in five minutes. Uber E said 20 minutes. We waited an hour and five minutes. Go ahead and taste that, go ahead and taste it. All right, so we got that. We tasted that. Now here's the uh, swamp sauce right here. Let me. It's like a garlic, oniony type of sauce right here. We got that, right? Let's go ahead and take the little fried uh, mushroom. Sorry, fried mushroom. Tastes kind of cool, tastes kind of good. This is the po' boy sandwich. I think it has a hot link. It's a Louisiana hot link. You can tell like the hot link is, you know, a little bit. And then it's mostly bread. I feel like they probably could have just used a regular hot dog on that. I can't taste the actual link. All it tastes is like the mustard and ketchup. And the bread, the bread is good. It's nice and soft. I feel like it's just a lot of bread. So would I order that again? No. What I really want to try is these, because these are supposed to be jalapeno poppers. So let me try these. Now this is pretty good. It's a lot of batter. 
around this jalapeno. I feel like it was cooked just a little bit long because it's kind of dark, but. I think it would be better with just a little less batter. We have the uh, the jambalaya, again, with the basmati rice. My family from New Orleans. We never, ever, ever cook with basmati rice, okay? That's Indian sour rice, not no black people, Louisiana Creole rice, let's be honest, okay? So, texture on the rice, still a little firm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the little side tan right here, we're gonna touch that. You know, soft like side tan is. Taste of bell pepper, things like that. Needs a little bit more oomph in it. Get what I'm saying? Personally, that's what I eat. It needs a little bit more. Need to be hitting on something else. Probably need some salt. But, it's all right. We have 4K, one taste. Oh, I'm gonna a minute. All right, so. So yeah, man, let's move on to the okra. So the okra is right here, right? That's the okra. That's why they fried in cornmeal. Now, the okra is not crunchy. As you see, it's barely even breaded. Mm -hmm. Which means a bad thing, man, I love okra. We got the lemon in there, but ain't no sense because the shit ain't breaded. Get what I'm saying? Look, it's falling apart. Go and dip it in the sauce. The swamp sauce tastes pretty good. Let me taste that right. Tastes a little swamp sauce. Got the little, uh, they call them gator bites. Let's see if we can break it open. Also a satan, that's all it is. I thought it was mushrooms. I think it's a mix. Oh, okay. Or some more mushrooms on your time, or maybe she mixed the mushrooms I can. Oh, okay. Wanna taste it? Yeah. Right now, I think the best thing that I've tasted so far is the swamp sauce. Mm -hmm. For real. Oh, you got it already? Yeah, I think I have a mushroom. It's okay, it doesn't have like a whole lot of flavor. So kind of disappointed with that. I would be curious to see if the food quality is the same at her actual sit down restaurants or because I feel like she's cutting corners out here with this online ordering only nonsense. Plus if we were sitting at a restaurant, we'd be able to sit down and have this food fresh, not, you know, an hour. It took them an hour to make our order. And then we had to drive home after that. Not ideal. So. But hey, their mess up is what got our food for almost free. So I'm happy about that. Got to try it for pennies. So I'm okay with that. All right, so here's my jalapeno popper. Kind of broke, you know what I'm saying? Was that the buffalo sauce? That man needs to home with that. Well, what other sauce was that? I don't know what the sauce is. Yeah, that uh, buffalo, I think. Look like it tastes like mayonnaise, hot sauce, I ain't feeling that one. So I really think the swamp sauce was the way to go. We did not get no house ranch. But I think, you know, that wasn't needed. The swamp sauce has all the flavor. Want to taste the cornbread? Oh, yeah. Show my fluffy, show how, how chunky it is. Yeah, it's a big slice. I forgot how much it was. It's cold now. But the texture is like normal cornbread. I wish it was warm. That would be nice. They gave me some butter with my waffle.
I'm probably not gonna eat this for a while, but this is the chicken seitan and waffle. So they give you a seitan piece and then the waffle. So that's a huge seitan piece, actually. I mean, that's a big, pretty big plate. I'm gonna taste the seitan. Mm hmm. Go ahead. I'm sure I'm gonna finish it. Hey, we're gonna taste this little seitan and everything. Tank. It's a lot of bread. <laughs> it's a lot of bread. <laughs> I didn't even know I tore a little bit. Time to flavor. That'd be good. Chicken sauteen. Mix caramel in that batter for the crispiness. It's pretty decent. Pretty decent. So, if we ever go back next time, for a, a pickup, we want to go hour late, <laughs> but I probably would. Just a little fake chicken and waffle. Tastes pretty good. The uh, that fake chicken reminds me really of a what is it called? Chicken fried steak. That's what it, it to me personally mimics. So. Anyways, man, this has been a review of all the items that we ordered, which we ordered a lot off the menu. Mm -hmm. How has it been yet? I mean, I feel like it would be better fresh. It's not fresh, so it's just rubbery. So rubbery beignets. Uh, personally, I give the uh, the taste of the food, I give a... I'll give it a three out of 10. Sherry gives it a three out of 10. I give it a four out of 10. But with this swamp sauce stuff, I move it up to a 6.8 out of uh -huh. 10. With just with the sauce alone, man. Gumbo, I'm gonna just rate every single item. Gumbo, I'm disappointed. I give it a fucking two. My bad. I give it a two. Jambalaya, we had 1.9. Okay, there is literally no moistness or nothing to the gumbo. The little fake little uh, gator bite nuggets. Flavor of the nuggets, I give it about a about a five, but that boosts up with the swamp sauce, so I move that up to a seven and a half, eight. The okra, and if you know me, you know I love my fried okra. I love baked breaded okra. Man, they had a one with the okra, man. It's a solid one, for real, for real. I'm really, really, really disappointed. I was really hyped on the okra. Again, I give the little, the fake chicken and waffle, where I get the chicken part, since I tasted that part, I give that a, that's a good seven. It's a solid seven. Oh, she gonna taste it now since I said that. Right. You gonna. Let me figure out go, what's. Just go ahead and bite the whole thing off. Mm, okay. The crunchiness, got a nice little flavor to it. Mm -hmm. It's more breading than anything, really. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. Uh. Yeah. So the jalapeno popper, I give a uh, solid, I give it a three. A lot of bread, no real cheesiness, no gooeyness into the inside, really. Uh, the French fry, I love my fries. They even they a little soggy right now. I give them fries about a good six. And uh, yeah, man, that has been the review. Will we, will, will we go back again? Probably hell no, but, uh, you know, had a horrible experience. The lemonade uh, is very diabetic like. It's very diabetic like. I like it. Lemonade it's, is 10 out of 10. <laughs> so, will this go down as one of the most worst, worst, worst vegan menus in Vegas? That is, the, that is the question. But only you. I mean, you gotta just try it, I guess, but. I think that it would be so much better if it was fresh. Yeah. Like, she has got to consider opening a restaurant. Because this is not going to be well received here like this. No. A lot of plastic, a lot of uh, to-go containers. Again, I thought the gumbo was going to come in a soup container and then a rice container. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I knew that it was coming like this, I would have never got it. For real. 
Look, look, look how dry the rice is. This is bullshit. What gumbo you know look like that? Gosh. Why's your pinky sticking up? Because I got the pinky ring on. Yeah, it's super dry. Dry as gumbo, man. Look. See, I'm finna put him out of business with my gumbo alone. God damn, man. Hey, my gumbo be hit. Yeah. Anyways, this has been a review. I don't know if I'm going back again. A couple items on, you know, on the menu is pretty decent, other than that. We ordered a large amount of items. <laughs> okay, so this is saying something. Uh, yeah, man. Thank y'all for watching. Go ahead and sub to the channel. Get what I'm saying? Like, comment, and subscribe, baby. Get what I'm saying? Mo if you want more vegan food reviews, comment below what you would like us to try to do a video on. Okay? Because we're bringing the food reviews back. Damn right.